Good afternoon. My name is Michael Kaplansky with RJD America. I'm here with Brendan Ziegler, the Vice President and Chief Mechanical Officer from the Strasbourg Railroad. Good afternoon, Brendan. How you doing, Mike? We're here in front of the CNO 614 to speak with Brendan about some of the work that's being done in the shop currently. Brendan, we've seen a few updates recently about the removal of the tubes and the superheaters behind us. Uh, can you tell us what you've done there and why that's important? Sure. So at this point, uh, we've removed all of the front end appliances uh, and all of the superheater units for the front end of the 614 here, uh, basically opening up the smoke box space so that we can now access the tube pack that's inside of the boiler. Uh, you can see behind me the ends of the tubes in the tube plate here. And uh, what we're doing at this point is cutting the ends of those tubes and we'll be sliding the tubes out uh, to remove them from the boiler. The tube removal is required uh, as uh, part of the 1472 service day inspection that we'll be performing on the locomotive. And removing the tubes is going to allow us to clean and inspect the interior of the boiler uh, to ensure that it's in, uh, in good condition. We'll see more about that boiler in just a few minutes. Thank you. So, Brendan, this looks like a lot of the boiler jacketing that you've removed from the 614's boiler. Um, when you remove this jacketing and the lagging underneath, what is it that you're looking for? So we're taking off all the jacketing and all the lagging, which is the insulation that's on the boiler. Um, and we're, we're doing that to be able to access the surface of the boiler so that we can visually inspect uh, for any defects. And then more importantly, so that we can eventually grid off and take ultrasonic thickness measurements uh, of the material that makes up the boiler. That information uh, will get used uh, to run through a series of reverse engineering calculations. And ultimately, that data then tells us what repairs we need, if any, uh, to make to the boiler. Uh, and then from there, we can then uh, make the repairs that are needed. We'll also be able to uh, remove and uh, inspect all of the flexible stay bolt uh, caps and sleeves, which you can see further back on the boiler there. Uh, we need to be able to take those off to inspect those bolts uh, and the, the caps and sleeves. So, Brendan, another thing that we've heard about in the scope of work that you're going to be performing is to take a look at these wheels. Can you tell us what you're going to be doing? Yeah, so first off, we need to get the wheels out from underneath the, uh, the locomotive. We're in the process of removing hardware that prevents that. Once the things like the pedestal binders, which capture the wheels within the frame, and all the brake rigging has been removed, then we get the wheels out. Uh, you can see we've already taken off the connecting rods in preparation for doing that. Uh, and then once the wheels are out of the locomotive, we're going to be inspecting every detail of them carefully. That includes the roller bearings uh, that are on the crank pins, the uh, roller bearings in the cannon boxes on the axles, uh, making sure all of that is in good shape. And then uh, another part of the process is going to be the removal of the old tires and replacement with new. So we've made our way around to the cab of the 614. This is a view most people will never see because her tender right now is uncoupled from the engine. One thing you can see looking into the cab is the firebox. Brendan, you've talked a lot about the firebox and the smoke box in the different updates that have been published so far. Tell us what you're looking for in the firebox and why is that so important? So uh, we need to inspect the firebox, make sure all of the sheets in the inside are in good condition and that all the material is thick enough to support the pressure that uh, will be applied by the boiler. So what we've done at this point is uh, painted the inside of the firebox white so we can see a lot better. Uh, and then uh, drew grid lines all over the firebox and we take ultrasonic thickness measurements on those sheets and then using that data we'll be able to calculate uh, and determine whether or not any of the material that makes up the firebox will need to be replaced because it's become too thin to uh, sustain the pressure that it operates at. And how is that ultrasonic testing performed? Uh, the ultrasound is done by grinding a small uh, clean area of steel on the firebox sheets, uh, applying a copulant uh, to, the, to the sheet, and then uh, using an ultrasonic transducer. The machine uses ultrasonic sound waves to measure the thickness of the material by the time it takes the sound to pass through from one side to the other and uh, echo back to the uh, transducer. So, Brendan, we get a lot of questions on our Facebook page and through all the social media that we share from RJD. Some questions keep coming up repeatedly, and I was wondering if maybe you could answer a few of them. Sure. 
Uh, a lot of people ask us, number one, can we visit the shop or see 614 in person? You can see 614 uh, on one of our daily noon shop tours here at Strasburger Railroad. Uh, we actually offer a second tour at 2 o'clock every weekend as well. Uh, and you can see uh, the locomotive as part of the regular tour. Thank you. Another question a lot of people ask, what will the final look be? What is 614 going to roll out looking like? So the folks at RJD want the locomotive to look as it was uh, first built for the CNO uh, back in 1948. And what, uh, I know this is, a, this is probably a hot topic in your shop, but what whistle is she going to wear? The 614 is going to wear one of a number of different whistle options. The owners uh, will, uh, will choose whichever they prefer, and uh, that's the one she'll wear from time to time. Um, I know that we spoke a little bit about it earlier, but uh, will 614 be equipped with PTC? 614 is going to be equipped with PTC. Uh, the systems that will be installed on the locomotive should make it uh, capable of running on uh, just about any railroad system in the country. That's great. Thank you. And thanks very much for the tour. You're welcome.